Hey everyone, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you can follow me. I'm going to put the link right down below. It's at Matt Medeiros on Twitter. Talk all about WordPress stuff, WordPress business, entrepreneurship, about the podcast. And the other day, I posted, what's your, what's the plugins that are out there that are really exciting you right now? And a good friend of mine, Topher, reminded me about today's plugin, Draw Attention. And Draw Attention well, let me draw your attention to draw attention, allows you to upload an image to WordPress and click on the uh, particular elements of an image. So let's just take a look at this example right here. You see, as I hover over this uh, image, example image, the certain areas of the image are highlighted. When I click on it, a little pop-up comes up of uh, the more detailed fo uh, photograph of that image. And it allows you to use this kind of, I don't know, flexibility in many different contexts. And today I have two that I'm gonna show you um, in the context of where we're at in today's world and how you can use this plugin. There is a free version, but let's talk about the premium version really quick. $74 for a single website license, so you can upload unlimited interactive images in unlimited clickable areas. And then the unlimited version allows you to do that unlimitedly <laughs> on unlimited WordPress websites. The free version has uh, 10,000 active installations, last updated seven days ago in the time of this recording, and it's free, although quite limited. Let me show you why. You can only upload one image uh, with the free version, but if you only have one really important image that you want to share on this website, um, then it does the job, and it does the job effortlessly. Installing the plugin and activating it is super simple. Once you're done with that, you'll see on the left-hand side admin bar, it has the draw attention uh, options panel. We simply title this. I'm gonna show you two examples today um, in sort of some context that you might be able to use this plugin today, especially if you're freelancing or consulting with clients. Here's a few ways that you might be able to use this. I already have an image that I snapped from Google Maps of Central Park. So if you're watching this during this global pandemic, there's a lot of businesses now that need to highlight things at their physical location for, let's say curbside pickup for a restaurant, or maybe there's a grocery store and there's a certain designated area that you have to stand at now for this sort of social and physical distancing that's happening. This is a great tool to allow you to draw those elements on a particular map. And that's the example I'm gonna to show today. Um, I'm not gonna change all the colors here. They're pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna say default more info. Uh, this is a map of closures, let's say, uh, in Central Park, New York City. And you know, obviously you can play with the colors. You can put that default info in there. And then the real, power, the real meat of this is down below in the clickable area section, you get to select the coordinates on this on this map. Now, the one thing that threw me for a loop a little bit, this is a pretty big image, right, resolution wise. And I was like, wait, wait why are we just focused in on this one section? Um, you simply scroll, right? You simply sc scroll through that image to move it around, especially if you have a really high resolution image. And I'm going to say, well, the Metropolitan's closed, let's just say. So I'm going to click once, and you'll see immediately it puts a point on the image. And I can simply draw these elements out across the map. Now, in a situation like this where it gets cut off a little bit, it's okay. I'll point, add another point right there and extend that flexibility. I mean, I can get pretty granular too. I can do something like this, where now I'm able to stretch it out over here, and then maybe do the same over here by just drawing these points and extending it out. So you can see it gets pretty uh, accurate. You can get really accurate with the polygons, polygons or, or layers that you're drawing on top uh, of a particular image. Coincidentally, one of my more popular uh, videos on this channel is about drawing clickable maps uh, on, uh, on a more map-based context, whereas this, you can get really clever uh, and really accurate with images. So I'm gonna say the title of this is uh, Metro is Closed. That'll be the title. 
the action, it's either show more information or go to a URL so you can, when somebody clicks on this element, it'll take them to a whole other page. We're gonna say show more information here. We're gonna say uh, the museum is closed until further notice. Detailed image. Uh, so you could upload an additional image, which I showed you on the Draw Attention homepage, so that when you click this element, it just loads another image. So you might be zooming in on a particular product or a particular location. That's what the detailed image is great for. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to do add another area. And we're just going to make something up here. We're going to say that Turtle Pond is closed for fishing. No fishing. <laughs> No fishing. No fishing till further notice. I can't spell the word further. Either that or my my R key on my MacBook is not working. <clears throat> and that's it. So I'm just going to leave those points, those two points right there. We're going to hit update. I don't even know if you can fish in that pond. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Actually, pages. I'm going to go to my pages section. I believe I already have a page with the draw attention block on it. I do. I'm just going to delete it just so you can see it over again. So if I just want to add that block, draw attention. There's also a short code if you're not using Gutenberg. And then hit update preview. And now here is uh, the image that I uploaded. You can see on the left-hand side, Central Park. This is a map of closures in Central Park, New York City. And then when I hover over these elements, you can see that's where uh, it shows the indication of the image uh, or the, the, the outline on the image and then the no fishing. Uh, not fishing? <laughs> I should say no fishing uh, until further notice. And the metro is closed. And you can see when I click on that, the information changes on the left-hand side. And because you had a WYSI... Uh, wig editor there, you could link out to other information. You know, this could be a product site or that kind of thing. So you can get really flexible or fancy with it. I'm going to show one example, uh, one more example here that I thought was interesting. Uh, and pretty much that's the, that's a wrap on this video. Here's another example that you might use as, uh, as you're in your freelancing business or consulting business. And what about if you wanted to use a screenshot of this very theme that I'm using, which is the Nev theme, uh, and then the child theme underneath that is something called Oblique. Uh, we're going to say website instructions. I will change the background color just for example's sake. Purple. And we'll add a clickable area. So you might do something like, like this. Highlight the logo section and say, logo section. You can edit this logo in the WordPress customizer. Add another area. And then you might highlight this, Let's say primary navigation. You can edit the primary nav under menu settings. Okay. Or you can link this out to other uh, information that you're building out for the client, support docs, blog posts, put a little video in here or something like that. And I'm just basically showing you two different contexts here, something in like the physical world where you're outlining something, or maybe you're building out some software or training a customer uh, on how to do something. Let's view that. That should update with the map. Yep. You, or with the image. So you can see right there, website instructions. I set that purple background just so you, it was super obvious. And now when I hover over these sections, uh, I can get additional information. So use it in the physical world, use it in a virtual world. It doesn't really matter. It's called draw attention. It's free for that one image. So check that out. If that's interesting to you, you can kind of play with it. But if you have a business or somebody that you're working with where drawing on an image is a necessity for training or sales or direction, I, it doesn't get any easier than this. And if it's just a client for $74, it's not bad, right? It's not bad to get that kind of functionality as easy as it is. And then to train your client 
as easy as it is. Plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. How's your uh, quarantine hair? My quarantine hair is getting pretty long. I need a haircut. All right, we'll see you in the next video.